Hello everyone. In this session, uh, we will learn how to create custom methods or custom functions in JavaScript and how can we use those custom utility methods in our Postman collection and then from Postman collection uh, in our test scripts. So let's understand the scenario why we need to do this. So Postman uh, provides so many methods and built-in functionalities, but let's say uh, there are certain things which you need to do. Let's say, for example, uh in so you are sending a request where a field can have multiple data like user type can be supervisor admin agent uh, license professional and so on so and your your uh, target is to basically uh, while doing the while creating a user uh, sometimes you have to pick a normal user sometimes you have to pick an admin user sometimes you have to pick a supervisor so how can you do that? So what you can do is basically you can have this list in a, have this uh, data of items in a list and then using a random function, you can supply the in length of the list to a random function and random function will give you the random number. And then based on that, you can access the list item, right? So that every time you will get a different item in your APIs. So this is one example. Other example could be extracting numbers from the string uh, generating a unique uh, timestamp and so on. Like you can do that using JavaScript code, then you can use that JavaScript code as, in terms of function in your collection scripts, and then you can call those functions from your test scripts or prerequisite scripts in Postman scripts. Okay, so we will do that. We all we will do all that in this session. So let's start with JavaScript first. So I'll, I have I have opened a just uh, visual studio code now for creating a random number function what i will do where get random number i would say so for that we use math class math dot random will give me a random number between zero to one uh, when i say console dot log Uh, rather than get, I could say get random number. And if I execute this, so see, every time it will give me a number between zero to one, which would be different, right? Okay, now this is fine, but gen in general, uh, let's say in our task, we, with, we would be needing a value between zero or length of the uh, length of the list. So we have to generate a integer number. So for that we have mat.floor. So what does mat.floor do is basically it will give me, so if the values is in decimals, it will give me the maximum value of uh, number in integer. So if I run this, it will give me 20. If I change this to 19, it will give me 19. So using those two functions, I can do something like that. Math.floor, then math.random. Now, if I do that, it will give me zero every time, right? Because zero to one, uh, the floor would be zero. So, right? So uh, what I could do uh, here, I could, supply a number so that I can get number in decimal. So now uh, it will generate a number between zero to 10. Save it. Math.random. Five, six, so every time different number so this is how you can uh, create a random number and so uh, but for our task our task is different so what i'll do uh, we will convert that in a function first get random number and in here i will supply length as a parameter and i would say return this 
and in case instead of 10 i will say length right so i created so i'll commit out this i created a get random number so now if i supply anything here get random number if i say i have to say 10 would give me a number between 0 to 10 number is not defined this is length right oh i missed out this file okay no issues so if i run this I get seven if i again run this i get eight right so now this could be our list index so what i can do i can generate a list where list uh, items a1 a2 a a3 a4 a5 right now uh, my task is to get random value from a1 to a5 in my payload so what i can do here console.log instead of this i could say items dot length so it will give me length of array this is number one higher than the highest element so uh, in terms of index i would say length minus one uh, so it would give me a value between zero to five right so i got the index now i have to print it using list so for that list not list items items and i will print this Right, so A1, sometimes A2, A3, A3, A2. So values are different every time. So that's how you can reuse this. So now let's convert this script into a Postman script. So uh, if I try to copy and paste this in our Postman script, so let's say I will do that in here. So I would say, this so this script should work right so this is working like this is a different error so script is working so here you can write the script but the problem is if you write the script here so you have to again define this in every script you have to again create this function in every uh, test and every script uh, in case you are creating it in the pre request script so let's take it to a collection level so in collection level i can write my script in pre-request script right so in here i could say where random number this 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 right now when i try to run it it would run my script i would show you through collection runner console okay console is correct so if everything works fine we should see in console we should see what we can see this uh, like in the any of these values right so if i run this the whole collection and see the postman logs see so it ran and then printed out this value so it's running now my task is to convert or to reuse that script in our test scripts right so uh, for that so 
if you add this as well so then postman uh, consider this script or this function as a local function but if you write this without where then postman consider this as the global function or you can use that as a function in your test script so now uh, i will copy this code and uh, i have just created a function a global function let's say i name this this is not needed so you can remove this and this is my function utility uh, random utility random number utility so i will update this in here i will use that in every script so i can use that here right and also i can use that the similar script in the second test now so i'm reusing one particular method i'm not writing the random code in again in every script so now let's run it let first save it save this save this clear the console logs view console log clear this out now run this collection so collection ran now see the well you get a random number is not defined i think uh, there is some issue so see uh, let's see what's the issue here so if i run this get random number oh so so we have to make certain changes so we have to use arrow function and that's why i told you about arrow function while doing the javascript class so rather than using this what would be so we will convert this in arrow function so in arrow function it would be get random number equal to parameter or parameter and arrow and then this right we would not need this math okay so yeah so function command uh, some does not work sometimes in postman so that's why you can use uh, arrow thing so if i update this and run this again length is not defined which length okay without doing that let's try to run it first Let's see if we are able to run this. Length is not defined. Which length? Oh, I think it's uh, talking about the length in collection level. So this is fine. I think we have made some mistake at collection level. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think the spelling is wrong. Okay so uh, now try to run it yeah so everything worked fine if you see postman console you should see this right now this is uh, when we are running two scripts so now if we can run it so save it and run it through collection runner
right? So uh, it ran and now let's see the Postman console. So it gave the value A2 here, A3 here. In get, in get. So that's how you can use uh, your built-in or sorry, custom made function in JavaScript in Postman. So just create a function here, make sure to use arrow, arrow wise command, otherwise it may not work. And then now you can generate any uh, random number in from anywhere in your scripts or pre-request scripts in your test cases or API request. Thanks for taking this session, guys. See you in the next session.